We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, faithful acolytes, we take a look at this. Our ceremonial sauce comes courtesy of Roger Dabbs of Burn Your Tongue. Cleverly not so hidden in the Quilted Bear in the Newgate Mall in Ogden, Utah. We raise our flames to Roger. The hallowed shelves of Burn Your Tongue now hold over 700 sauces, making Burn Your Tongue one of the largest sauce purveyors anywhere. anywhere. If you're a chili head, you must make the pilgrimage. You can also find Roger on Facebook at the link in the description below. And what this is from the Maui Pepper Company, it is the Mango Meltdown Extreme Heat Version. So, of course, the regular Mango Meltdown has a written review. So does this one. Uh, the link for this one is available in the description down below. But the other one has a video as well. I encourage you to check that out if you're interested in the differences. This one is, I think, relatively new to the market. Where are the, oh my gosh, look at how tiny these ingredients are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we've got vinegar, mangoes, cane sugar, apple juice, um, honey, red habanero pepper mash, pickling spice, sea salt. Spices, natural flavors, uh, some extractives of turmeric. We have crushed red pepper and xanthan gum. So I don't know if the natural flavors is meant to mask an extract or not. But this, I mean, so this is slightly darker. It's a darker uh, orange than the regular one is. I didn't know this existed until after I did the video for the regular one, or I probably would have done these at least somewhat of a comparison. You can see it's it pours about the same. It's got a little bit of gloppiness to it. See, there's some particles here. I mean, it looks fine. It looks it looks kind of jelly-ish. Nice light orange sauce with little bits and pieces in it. So nothing wrong with how it looks. Uh, let's uh, let's just get on into it. There's a weird artificial chemically sort of taste to this, and I, and I can't say it's an extract or anything like that. I mean, so look at this. This little heat thing right there is near the top as far as hot. I don't think this is notably hotter than the regular version. And the regular version doesn't have that weird aftertaste to it. It's It's got a an artificial, almost fakey sort of taste to it. I mean, the sauce, it's both before and after. In the, in the midst of the sauce, you can kind of get a feel for the regular mango meltdown, which is kind of a sweet, a little bit sour sort of thing. But I like the other one better, actually. The other one, I think, has a way better flavor. This one, 
it's it's just odd. I don't understand what that what that actual flavor is. Uh, there's a little bit of garlic in there, and it might be some of uh, the spices interacting. It could be. It's it so it doesn't have the extracty metal taste for me. You know, I've had that enough times, <laughs> more than enough times, to recognize what that is, and and I don't get that it's that. It it, it just tastes like. Sort of a plasticky thing, like you know, when you store uh, powders and stuff, if you store them in certain plastics, it will take on characteristics of that. That it, it's that sort of aspect, I think, which this kind of has. And it, it's, I mean, it's a glass bottle, obviously. It, it's not nothing from that. I, I don't know. It just, it, it's really bizarre to me. But I wouldn't say this is notably hotter than the regular. Maybe slightly, but not, not any, um, not to any great degree. They both have habaneros in them. This one I don't think has notably more habaneros. Like I said, the the natural flavors could be masking a sort of extract, but it really isn't hot enough to certainly not to justify an actual hot rating. I, I don't see anyone challenged by this other than that weird off flavor note. Um, yeah, strange. I don't. <laughs> but it is slightly darker. I mean, it's more of an orange. Uh, maybe it's a mango meltdown extreme orangey color. Yeah, I don't know. It, it is not to me notably hotter than the original. All right, so today we've got fruit based sweet hots, especially they're tropical. I think belong on pizza and. So this has been on sale. I don't normally eat this, but this has been on sale. This Lean Cuisine stuff. This one happens to be the pepperoni pizza. And it's uh, not a very attractive pepperoni pizza, if I'm being honest. One of the big problems I have with Lean Cuisine is that they, especially the pizza, the crust is fine. The sauce is not particularly wonderful, and it tends to be a little bit light. Uh, can you guys see that? Let's probably break this down so you can see it. Uh, it tends to be a little light on cheese, and I get it. Lean cuisine, you know, right? Cheese has a lot of fat in it usually and so on, but... There's, to me, not a good pizza without, without cheese. Although, you know, for my money, you kind of have to have a sauce also and, you know, toppings as well, or you just don't have enough texture contrast. So, all right, anyway, we'll just pour this on. And I would say I've had this on pizza, actually. It's winter as I filmed this so I can use the oven. So I probably use this on pizza as much as I have, you know, on like chicken strips and stuff, which is... Or fish sticks or anything like that, which is kind of the main thing. Anything fried, this is actually pretty good with. So shrimps and calamari and fish and chicken, you know, what have you. This 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 is really nice on that. The idea is to is to hopefully get enough enough of flavors, you know, differences in there that you can kind of skip that chemically part of it. The crust is a bit doughy, but I will say this. One of the major issues with microwave pizza is the crust. Oftentimes it'll just be rubbish by the time the toppings are done cooking. Whatever they're doing here works pretty well. And uh, as far as microwave goes, Flavor-wise, it's kind of eh, but texture-wise, it's fine. Pepperoni and cheese are okay. You can't go wrong with them. This sauce, I don't like, though. And it's like they're, there's just not a lot of it. It's kind of a paste. It's kind of an herby paste, more than a sauce.
mean, for cheap and easy pizza, I have had worse, but. I don't normally get this. But it was on sale, so figure why not. Not picking up too much heat here. Like I said, this is a, this sauce is great on pizza, even garbage pizza like this. I'm still getting notes of that aftertaste. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's gotta be. It says it doesn't gotta be, but. Maybe it is. Maybe it is an extract of some kind. I mean, it's a very, very moderate low key one if that's the case. I oversauced this. So flavor-wise, I would say it's, it's actually a step down from the first one, from the regular one. There's not enough sweetness here, I don't think, either to work well as a grill sauce. Right. So you get a slight build now, it just isn't. I can't say it's, it probably is slightly more than the original, but I wouldn't say by a lot. I know I already mentioned that, but I had this spoonful, I've had a bunch of it on this pizza. It's giving me whatever heat it has to give, and it just is really low. And I think if you're going to, you know, that... It bothers me a bit when they do this with the labels. This one doesn't have here peppers either. It actually looks like jalapenos, but... You're going to say extreme heat. You're going to put the little thermometer all the way up to, to the hot mark, right? I feel like if you're going to do that, at some level you have to deliver at least a somewhat hotter than normal experience. Like extreme heat, that, that's a nebulous term. It doesn't mean anything, right? It's meaningless. You, you could say that, you know, cracked black pepper is extreme heat. Say whatever you want. But when you have this being, supposedly being a hotter version of an exhibit, fairly long running existing sauce, the uh, regular mango meltdown, it, I think it just has to be notably hotter if you're going to use the word extreme. Otherwise, you could just say hotter mango meltdown or mango meltdown hotter. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, very clearly is that. But to say things like extreme, you know, like it's, it's tipping the scales and it's up there, you know, competitive with, you know, the, the higher tier sauces on, on the hot ones or something like that. Not that they're saying that, but, you know, when you say extreme, you're definitely implying that there's going to be a, a higher heat experience. And it just, it just isn't there with this one. And whatever they did, I think, sort of negatively uh, impaired the taste a bit as well. So for me, I would say get the mango meltdown. If you like that one a lot and you just want to try what this one's like, fine. This one, honestly, is, is 
of the two, I would just I would get the other one. That one I think is worth getting. This one, I, I don't think I would want to have it again. It just I, I don't like that chemically chemical whatever that taste is. I really find that kind of distracting. And like I said, there is just not really enough heat in here to justify that. The other one doesn't really have a lot, a lot of heat either, but it does have a pretty nice flavor to it. More so than this one anyway. So, uh, it's fun, worth a shot. You know, it's always fun to try new stuff, but uh, th this one I think thuds a little bit and I'll just leave it there. So anyway, that is the Maui Pepper Company Mango Meltdown Extreme Heat Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.